Hi friends! Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a very elegant scarf with a special uh, type of yarn which is suitable for Christmas, a little bit shiny and uh, I think it's all we need uh, to, to wear these beautiful days of Christmas uh, or to make one and uh, give it as a gift to a person we love. Uh, it's a four row repeat. Uh, I don't make it uh, too wide. I don't want it to be uh, very chunky at my neck. Uh, so uh, you can make it uh, the, at least 20, you can chain 20 uh, chains or uh, 31. I'm going to make you a 31 sample now. This is uh, 42 uh, chains uh, and I crochet with a 4.5 millimeter hook. Uh, my width here is about 20 centimeters and uh, you can make it as long as you want. I don't want to wrap it uh, many times. I just want something shiny on my neck these days. So let's get our hook and make our nissel chain, make a loose chain, one, two, three, just a moment, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Uh, let's make one more. Always I make one or two uh, more chains so uh, I don't miss a stitch. Well, insert your hook in fourth chain from hook. You can count as uh, one the chain from where our loop on hook goes out. So this is one, two, three, four. At fourth, in fourth stitch we make three double crochet so we have a total of four our pattern here is based on making four double crochet so at the beginning of the row we have the turning chain which counts as a DC and three double crochet then we skip one two three four stitches and in fifth stitch uh, we make four double crochet in same chain four double crochet one two three and four now we chain four one two three four we skip two stitches from our base chain and in third stitch we make a single crochet okay so we have this shape here one two three four chains again to rise again we go down and then we rise up we again skip two stitches and in third one we make four double crochet one two three and four So this is our pattern, our basic pattern. 
in the beginning and at the end we are going to have always no not always in the first two rows four double crochet and after this we are going to skip four stitches make four double crochet chain four skip two stitches from the base and make a single crochet here in the third stitch again rise up with four chains skip two stitches from the base and four double crochet now we're going to make the same thing again without chaining we count from the base one two three four and in our fifth stitch we make four double crochet it's a little bit difficult in the first rows after a while our piece is going to be okay three and four now we chain four one two three four we skip two stitches and make a single crochet in third stitch again one two three four we skip two stitches one two and in our third stitch we are going to make four double crochet one two three and four this is the end of our repeat we have a second big arrow here let's call it like this and at the end we're going to skip one two three four stitches and in last stitch we're going to make as in the beginning four double crochet one two three and four that's the end at the beginning we have four double crochet at the end the same thing we turn for our second row which is uh, a little bit a repeat of this first row so chain three we make at the very first stitch another three double crochet so we have again four in total one I'm sorry I'm going to turn a little bit so it's easier to crochet so after this we're going to our arrow here and we're going to make uh, four double crochet in fourth double crochet of previous row of the first team of double crochet so one two three and four again we're doing the same thing so chain four one two three four in single crochet of previous row insert your hook and work a single crochet also so chain four again one two three four and we're going to work here and here five uh, four double crochet so in first double crochet of our team we're going to make uh, four double crochet and in the last double crochet of the second team here four double crochet again let's do it so right after chaining four I'm going at the first stitch and I make four double crochet at the first double crochet one 
to. Three. And four. And I'm going there to the fourth double crochet of the second team and I make again one double crochet, a second one in the same stitch, a third one and a fourth. So you see we made the same thing. Just check that you are going to make this four double crochet in the first double crochet and here at the last one. Now chain four. We in front of us we have a single crochet, chain four, single crochet in single crochet of previous row, again chain four, one, two, three, four, again we are at the end we are going to make uh, four double crochet in our first double crochet of previous row one two three and four and now we go straight at the very end at the beginning chain three and we are making in top of chain three four double crochet one two three and four so we have uh, at the beginning and at the end again four double crochet this is our piece it's a little bit lacy and I think it looks nice so we turn and we have two more rows now we are going to alternate uh, a bit our uh, pattern. I mean here that we have two teams of four double crochet. We are going to make an arrow of chain four, single crochet, chain four. And here we are going to make four double crochet and straight four double crochet. Only we have to make them uh, at the very first stitch double crochet and at the very last stitch of this double crochet. So let's begin by making chain three, one, two and three. This is uh, like having a double crochet here. Now we'll make chain four, single crochet here, chain four. So in total for the beginning we have to chain seven. One, two, three, four. I chain three and four, seven. So uh, I'm going in between the two, uh, let's say, clusters and I'm making a single crochet there. And again, one, two, three, four. I make this chain four with a single crochet and I go uh, at the fourth uh, now DC of previous row, not the first, the fourth, and I'm making one, two, three, 
and four double crochet okay I want to be to have this sort of uh, shape here so I made four double crochet at the fourth double crochet of previous row now I'm going at the first and there I will make again one two three and four so in my previous rows I had chain four so, uh, double a single crochet chain four now I made two clusters now it's the easy part I'm going to chain four two three four single crochet here between the two clusters after some rows you are going to uh, understand the pattern and then you have you will have no problem after chaining four just uh, watch out that we are going to make four double crochet here at uh, the end of four double crochet previous row one two three and four when we make the clusters we do nothing in between them so in fourth and then we go right in first double crochet of the other part and we make four double crochet three and four so the cl two clusters come very near one to the other now it's easy we're going to chain one two three four we have the two clusters here in our previous row we are going to single crochet in there in between the clusters and then chain four and make a final double crochet in top of chaining three one double crochet this is our third row and now I'm going to crochet the final row which is uh, similar to the third row we uh, make the same thing we are chaining three one two three again we are chaining four one two three four so we single crochet in single crochet of previous row so we repeat the same thing chain 4 this is now the point you have to a little bit be careful we have before of us two clusters and we are going to make two clusters again inserting our hook in very first here and in very last here okay then in first DC of previous row double crochet four times two three and four and now we go at the very end of the second cluster and make four double crochet two three and 
and one more four. So in fourth um, row we are repeating the pattern of third row. When we see an arrow here we make the same chain four one two three four single crochet where a single crochet is again chain four two three four and again be a little bit careful and watch out what you are going to do you are going to do two clusters here and here in the edges of previous clusters at the beginning and at the end if I figure this out where to put my hook then it's very easy to uh, blindly crochet two three and four light is gone a little bit some clouds covered the the sun okay now we are going here at the end at the fourth double crochet of previous row and we make again four double crochet it's not at all clear at this yarn where to put your hook I'm sorry but I decided to make uh, just to see that even if it's not a, a, an easy yarn to, to crochet uh, we can do it now we have an arrow here chain four uh, single crochet chain four and we're going to do the same thing chain four single crochet chain four and make an, a final double crochet here at the uh, third chain okay one two three four chains single crochet here one two three four chains and I'm going uh, it's easy to find here is the initial uh, seven chain that we did so count one two three and put your hook there and make a double crochet this is all our pattern I believe it's like um, crocheting a lace of all times as ma my grandmother did from which I learned how to crochet imagine that this is a four millimeter or four and a half my mother my grandmother was crocheting with a one and a half this very very uh, thin yarns this is the fourth row so we repeat again the same thing that we did in row uh, one if you want a little bit to begin the first row again just to make it clear for you just a moment three four and here we have a final double crochet so we begin row uh, five making chain three and here at the very first stitch we're going to make three double crochet one two and three and uh, now we're going to pass all this and go to the first double crochet of uh, our cluster of previous row and there we will make four double crochet so we're making double crochets here at the very first and there at the very last stitch so 
So just a moment. Yes. One. Two. Three. Four. Then after this we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four, and make as we did at the first row a single crochet in between the double crochet of previous row. Again chain four and we are going to make at the last double crochet no no at the first just a moment yes uh, just 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 a moment at the last yes i was right Okay, one, two, three, and four. So we have here four double crochet, chain four, single crochet here between the two clusters and for double crochet uh, in our final double crochet. This is a kind of lacy pattern. I believe you uh, can uh, find out the harmony in this and after a while you'll, you're going to be able uh, to crochet it without uh, anxiety, without counting what you will do. I hope you find it an interesting idea and you like it and uh, tell me all about it if you did it uh, and how it looks. Thank you very much. Don't, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel which is uh, very very good for me uh, and uh, gives me strength to get to get more ideas and to make more and more videos. Uh, have a nice time and happy crocheting. Bye!